Rick, you've been portrayed in the recent movie King Richard, um, which, um, which came out on November 19th. And there have been discussions and rumours and talk about a movie about Rick Macy. So this, uh, this young man from Greenville, Ohio, through to never having a lesson and, and you know, all of the epic achievements that you've gained over the years, all the champions that you've trained. Um, you are a Hall of Famer, you are seven time coach of the year. What do we, um, what do you think about this, this talk of a movie, Rick? <laughs> yeah, it kind of, kind of caught me off guard. You know, um, it's, it even started before the King Richard movie. People have talked to me about a documentary or a short series, um, but it picked up steam. Um, when I was in LA, a couple people did approach me, um, you know, because, uh, you know, my story is uh, almost like, you know, make believe. You know, you grew up in a small town, uh, 10,000 people, uh, you lose your father at age 10 years old, um, you play sports all your life, you pick up a racket at 12. You teach yourself how to play the game of tennis. You never have a lesson. Uh, you're the number one player in Ohio Valley at 18. Uh, you know you're never really good enough to make it in pro tennis, so you get into teaching. You know you have a gift. Uh, you'd rather help others more than you help yourself. Uh, you, you just fall in love with the game of tennis. But there's so much uh, motivation and energy that I've really had ever since I was a young kid you know, with a single mother and, you know, my drive to be the best I can be. I think there's many layers uh, to my life, um, not just the people who have gone on to win Grand Slams or be number one or the 300 and some national champions and all the awards. I mean, that, that comes with the territory. But I think there's a story within a story within a story about perseverance, persistent, getting knocked down, you know, then getting up you know, uh, almost dying in fourth grade from appendicitis. I was in the hospital for like, you know, 49 days. I mean, there's so much I could, I could almost tell the story here, okay? But I'll leave that if it ever does come out like uh, some people would like it to, because uh, I've been approached, but I kind of hand that off to people who kind of handle this stuff for me. And that would be really cool, because I think if that did come out, it, it wouldn't even be as much about tennis or who I coached. It's just the all-American dream. Like if you believe you can achieve and anything's possible, you know, I didn't win Wimbledon, you know, I didn't do this, but you know, here we are, uh, Boca Raton, Florida, you know, Rick Macy Tennis Center. I grew up a half mile from a park in Greenville, Ohio. I live a half mile from the park right now. Uh, everything's come full circle and there's just, but I'm still trying to get better. And, you know, I've affected so many lives, so many lives, um, not just tennis, people that, you know, have come back and said how they work harder, they became a better parent, whatever I've done to impact other people's lives. And so that's really the art of coaching and teaching, not just what you do with the X's and O's and the ground strokes and all the knowledge I have about the game of tennis, but how it has rippled and it's just, part of kind of who I am and just how I even train my cat. I mean, that's how I'm kind of out there a little bit. So, but when it's all said and done, um, yeah, they've talked about a movie uh, to what length or whatever, wherever this goes, we'll, we'll see. Um, but I think it would be incredible for everybody because it's about, uh, you know, the all American dream. And it's that really plain and simple, okay? Uh, in tennis, this has to be the conduit or the platform, but it's not, really, it's not really about tennis. It's about the ups and downs and the perseverance um, and, you know, never giving up and never looking back and always looking forward. So, yeah, if, if, if the movie comes out or documentary or short, short series, uh, that would be great um, because I think it would help so many people to reach millions, my story, and that would make me feel, that would make me feel amazing because if that happened, then I would know I'm touching even more lives than I've touched already.